Energy Minister Gwede Manthashe say that the 25 projects, 12 wind farms and 13 photovoltaic plants awarded to the private sector will increase the country's electricity generation capacity to 2,583 megawatts or 4.5% more than at present. Indeed, the country is living with load shedding and the South African electricity company ESCOM, which supplies 90% of households, is sinking under a debt of several billion dollars. As a result, several companies are turning to solar energy with the aim of being 100% dependent on this source by 2025. Conor Ruff, Vice President of Purchasing and Sustainability at AB InBev, said that for Africa, they have already made some progress in this regard and have an on-site solar installations in all their breweries in South Africa. He added that they have solar installations in Nigeria and Tanzania and have gone back to their original mission of wanting to be around for the next 100 years plus, and this is one of the best ways to do that. South Africa's largest township, Soweto, is not only facing power cuts, but also reduced load, a consequence of the $1 billion US dollars owed to the country's power producer, ESCOM. For businesses, the lack of electricity leads to increased operating costs and reduced productivity and profitability. Power outages in South Africa cost the country's economy more than 30 billion US dollars a day. South Africa has been experiencing load shedding since 2007 because the country has failed to build new power plants to achieve greater economic growth.